Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Magic Fusion from Gustav's called uh, Digital Signal Processing. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do check the instruction in the video description. Make sure that the winners have not been announced. Therefore, the giveaway is still open and then follow the instruction if you want to participate. And also remember to collect codes as well perfect so what is uh, uh, magic fusion well it's another magic app first of all which is already fantastic and um, if you're familiar with magic blur magic page magic delay etc etc they are all really really nice but this one is a spectral um vocoder a multi-curve spectral um vocoder it's a workstation, really, with a lot of different um, options. It uses two input sources, a carrier and a modulator, and it extracts uh, really much the uh, spectral essence uh, from the modulator and applies that to change the carrier. So it uses two input sources, which is slightly different than previous Magic apps. So let's click on the plus sign, create a MIDI channel, and then, of course, the two audio channel, and I just, explained, I just explained why you need two. So let's insert Magic Fusion as an insert effect. So we're going to uh, search for uh, magic and select magic fusion now in order to select the other input we go to the second channel and insert effect but this time we go to multibus or do uni instance and we select Mag magic fusion from there okay so um, if i open up a magic fusion as you can see standard interface standard controls if you use previous magic apps you should be familiar with all of those now this is the first input, okay, uh, first channel, this is the second one. And you can also adjust um, uh, the level here and you can also monitor each one of them. Now, we need to decide something to come in, so why not? Um, let's have um, uh, something like um, a vocal and um, let's choose a, a peeper, like so. And let's open it up, choose also a preset, this one, which sounds really nice. And then we are going to choose, um, why not, something different this time. Um, why don't we choose something analog, analog uh, 909. And let's create a simple pattern like so with uh, um, bass drum, okay? Next, we need to drive a uh, pipa with... Uh, um, a MIDI processor, so let's call for a, a BUD app and uh, let's choose, uh, for example, uh, Polybud. Let's connect Polybud to Pipa, then we go inside Polybud and let's create a, a melody, eight steps, like so, and uh, we choose uh, different notes, like so. We go to random as well, uh, match the same number of uh, um, steps and we add randomization and then we change also the scale from major to minor and click done okay now let's open up again magic fusion let's click play That uh, bass drum is quite high. Let's go inside uh, um, uh, AR 909 and let's decrease the level, okay? If you made a mistake, of course, you can reverse them here. Input with sidechain. And of course, uh, it will reverse uh, reverse them. And of course, you have a different effect in terms of what is the carrier and uh, the modulator. So this is the carrier and this is the modulator. Okay, so as I said, you can change the levels here. You can also click on the icon here to monitor them. So um, you have four different curves here. That is why it's multi-curve. You can select them, click them here, like so. Okay, you can solo them. And um, then you can copy here, quick copy on the left hand side from the other curves, or you can, for example, reverse them, randomize them, and um, set them as default. Okay. Now, 
if you click and hold, you can define the region, then two points, and then you can move the uh, point like so, right? And then this is how you start to create variancy over frequency, okay, in terms of how the effect responds over different frequency. And you can do that for multiple curves. <laughs> Now, you can um, here uh, change the type or the behavior on the different points. You can maneuver them like so without being uh, a step, but you can go back to step if you prefer, um, um, like so. Um, then here you can invert. Look at that. It's really nice. And then, of course, here you can uh, uh, create an, off an offset on uh, the right channel if you want to. Really nice. Um, yeah, you can shift, shift them like so, similar here in terms of offset, and uh, you can skew as well to the left and to the right, again here in terms of offset to the right channel. So similar controls that you found in uh, other Magic app. On the right hand side, instead, you have different controls here. You can reverse um, the... Um, the association between the carrier and uh, modulator in terms of what what you see or what you have as input you can change the smoothness here the formant as well and the level of details as well and then the overall effect here and then the output in decibel <laughs> This move is quite interesting because it enables, of course, to change how uh, the effect uh, respond, right? Now, let's go back to 909 and let's make it more interesting. Let's add uh, snares there and perhaps let's uh, also add um, some uh, um, close hi-hat. Why not? Back to Magic Fusion. Press play. Of course, you can modulate each of those controls using LFO here, of course. You can add one and then you can press here and then choose the target, and positive or negative, and then it will start to modulate, as you can see. And you can do, um, uh, you can add additional uh, modulation here using the LFO. You can do it bipolar or unipolar, sample and hold, undo, activate it or not. And then you have a different option here, custom F, LFO, macro, amp, follow. Again, all the same controls that you've seen in other Magic app. Here you have type and division for the speed that you can have in sync, or you can just click here and go by hertz. Here you can decide the waveform, really nice. Then adjust the phase or skew the phase and then here the amount and you can change also the curvature and here you have global sentient for sample and hold again these controls are the same that you have seen in other applications now let's click play and change some of the uh, factory preset
course, you can mute this channel and you can hear only what is coming out from this channel, right? Why don't we choose a different preset here uh, or a different type of audio engine? Let's go um, for something like, uh, why not, Terra Pro, which uh, will be very different, um, right? Now, um, I need to connect a keyboard and I need to play with the keyboard, okay? Otherwise, I can, for example, why not? Let's connect it actually to Polybad, uh, so nice and simple. Okay, let's click play. Now let's change the type of preset here. Um, Alpha Century might not be the best one. So let's go to factory. Let's choose these. Uh, um, why not? F 32 filter dome. Okay, perfect. Now let's click play again. Okay, let's try it with, again, something different. Let's choose uh, um, Isom. Okay, and um, um, let's drive uh, Isom again uh, from Polybad. And uh, let's choose something. Let's go to the keyboard like a Celeste. <laughs> It's so nice actually with this Caribbean instrument and um, creates very unique uh, effects on pipa. course remember you have different type of uh, modulation that you can apply in this case is a custom LFO but you can go also random you can change a different option here again all of these is as per other uh, uh, magic app application works exactly in a similar way the um, amp follower as well really really nice okay i'm going to stop here i hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and demonstration and as always see you next time bye